Welcome back everybody to the channel. It's me, Alejandro Mendoza, or the Nerd Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we continue looking through my 4K backlog as we look at one of my favorite films of all time and one of the best anime films to ever be created. I'm talking about 1988's Akira on 4K Ultra HD from Funimation. Of course, I hope that everyone is doing well and this video finds you happy, healthy, and in good spirits. I hope that you all have been enjoying the content. I know that I've been enjoying making them for y'all. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like the video, and then click that notification bell as well so you don't miss a single video that drops on the channel. I also have a Patreon set up for an extra helping hand if you'd like to go and check that out over at www.patreon.com slash the nerdy chicano for exclusives like video essays and early access to videos just like the one you're watching right now but of course it is not mandatory but it is appreciated so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this review of akira so this is the not the re-release but i'd say it is the correct release of akira on 4k ultra hd funimation had released in version earlier uh, before they released this one in 2021 uh, that included no HDR and when the people found out that there was no HDR in it replacement discs were set out and then they basically re-released it with the correct disc and there's no introduction in the back so I think we're just gonna go straight forward into the review y'all because there's no actual like introduction this is pretty much the same thing as the other release with HDR now it has HDR 10 has Adobe True HD 5.1, Adobe uh, True HD 2.0, two 5.1 uh, tracks for one for English and one for Spanish. I'm sorry, one for English and one for Japanese. The other one, 2.0 track, is just a, a English track. But there's nothing else to it. Um, I know I'll show you all the the, the um, packaging though. So this is the front of Akira. This is the back. I actually really do like the artwork. And then this is the spine. Then you open it and you just have your standard two discs right there. You have the 4K and the Blu-ray. Um, it has its special features are in the Blu-ray. And then the 4K has the uh, the film on 4K Ultra HD. But that's pretty much it for the packaging. Nothing too special. Uh, I know that the original release was actually had like a three disc set and stuff. And it was really nice like box case and stuff. But... This is the reissue, and I wanted the one with HDR, so I opted out to get this one instead. So when it comes to the, um, I'm looking at Blu-ray.com here. At least I'll give you all an update on like what special features it includes. So you have an Akira sound clip from 1988 by Geno Yamashiro Gumi with optional English narration. You have music for Akira. You have Canada's theme, Exodus, Ethnic Meets High Tech, Awakening. Mutation and Requiem. Then you have a director interview, features a discussion with Akira filmmaker Katsuhiro Otomo. The interview was conducted following the completion of the film and was previously released on the original Akira Laser Disc. Storyboard collection The Writing on the Wall is a click through slide form gallery of English translations for Japanese writing fe featured throughout the feature film. Original trailers, original commercials, restoring Akira is divided into three segments picture english voiceover and english 5.1 audio mix glossary is a text-based glossary of terms the u.s trailer and the trailers are provided for Aqu 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 aquarion evol eureka 7a o michiko and hatchin lupin the third the world called fujiko mine the future diary appleseed 13 wolf children and funimation.com those are all the the uh, special features that are included in the Blu-ray disc. And yeah, there's not much else, y'all. I mean, just, you know, the specs and what comes in the special features. So let's go ahead and take a look. Akira is one of my favorite films of all time. It's the movie that I think I really hold in high regard when it comes to the style of anime. I think that it is really responsible for bringing anime to the United States and if it wasn't for this film right here most people who enjoy anime wouldn't have anime to watch because this movie is really responsible for that 
I love the story of, you know, Neo Tokyo and this apocalyptic wasteland that's being created by corrupt governments and a, a system that's trying to control its citizens, but also trying to think about their best interests because of the situation that they live in. Akira never gets old. I mean, it's a movie that is animated beautifully. It is done really well when it comes to the score. Like, I love the score from this film. It's one of the best of all time, and it matches the atmosphere that is created throughout this film. The visuals, like our animation, but also our cinemata cinematography choices and the lighting and stuff like that really work well to create this, you know, Neo Tokyo and very dystopian feel to the film that represents well within the story and its visuals. I love the voice acting and everything about this film just screams as near perfect man. I don't think there's anything about this movie that I don't like. It just it's not you know up there as perfect to me but I think that it does so well with what it's given and it is the legendary film that it deserves to be. I never get tired of this movie and I always 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 have a good time with it. I mean, it's a classic for a reason. This movie is as good as it, it gets and it deserves all the hype that it, it that it revolves around it because it's that damn good. Now let's talk about the transfer. Of course, I watched this on my TCL 4K TV on my Panasonic 4K player and it does have HDR 10, so no Dolby Vision HDR. But I think that the Dolby Vision HDR wouldn't have helped this out more because I've got to say that Akira with the HDR on 4K Ultra HD looks fantastic. I was really in love with the reds popping on my screen with our resolution. The HDR really helps bring that out of the of the color and is able to make you know the colors pop a little more. And I loved seeing this you know 80s animation style of anime finally brought to the screen in 4K Ultra HD and it works really well to bring out the depth of the colors but also you know point out details within the resolution. There are moments where I think the film does have a little bit of difficulty with um, you know providing a better image per se because I think that the Blu-ray has good images it's just you know the, the benefits of HDR on a 4K disc is going to bring out a better look. But there are moments where I really watched this film and I said, oh, well, that kind of looks the same as it did on the Blu-ray. But when it comes to this new resolution, the color palette looking uh, great because of that HDR, Akira really looks fantastic. And I can't say anything other than that. I mean, this movie from the Blu-ray looked good, but it looked like it was a little washed. It looked like it needed to be cleaned up. And I'm guessing that's what they did. They took the negatives and they cleaned it up and it presented us a really good presentation of Akira on 4K Ultra HD. Funimation did a great job in ordering this restoration and it looks fantastic on this release. Now, the audio, as I've said before, I don't have a proper surround sound system, so I had to experience this with my computer speakers. I mean, my, my TV speakers, not my computer speakers. Sorry, y'all, I don't know why I keep saying that. But I like the way that it showed up on my TV speakers and it sounds great. I love the base of the the bongos in the score and the sound of the motorcycles. It sounds clean and crisp. There's no scratching, there's no hissing, there's no pops. It all sounds fantastic. Now as I would imagine, I'm gonna guess that this film sounds better on a 5.1 surround sound system and when I get it I know that I'll be re-watching it to see how that plays out. But in the meantime, what I was able to experience when it comes to the video and audio side, I liked it. I think they did a great job at bringing this to 4K Ultra HD now that it has proper HDR to it. Uh, I never bought the original one, so I don't know exactly what this looked like. But I'm glad that with HDR, Akira looks great and it looks as clean as it can get. But as I said, don't just take my word for it. Check this out, y'all. I know that it never goes up above like $20. I think it's like $17.99 on Amazon at the moment. But if you're looking for something on Black Friday, maybe you like anime and you want to check this film out for the first time, pick it up because I think that it looks great in 4K and it is a great movie that is very much worthy of it being called a classic. But if you want to catch up with me on social media, make sure you follow me at The Nerd Chicano on Twitter, Instagram, 
TikTok, Letterboxd, Serialize, and on Twitch. I'm the same handle on all of those. Let's go ahead and talk about some movies, y'all. Check out The Nerdcore by going to our website, thenerdcore.com, and our YouTube and Twitch on the same handle, at The Nerdcore. It's going to be the same thing on both of us, both of those, so check it out, y'all. We've been working on some really cool podcasts for y'all. But, of course, we'll be back next week as we continue on with, our, with my backlog of 4Ks. But in the meantime, it's been a great time, y'all, and I hope you all enjoyed the review. And to my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.